think you're all gonna love this. Did you know tomorrow is National Coffee Day? To celebrate, Tim Hortons is sending you all home with a gift pack. Here's what it includes, a dark roast blend, an original blend, a travel mug, and a $60 Tim Hortons gift card. Yeah. prize pack. We will send it to you if you retweet that and you win. Okay, so coffee, kitchen, there's a bit of a connection. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the things that go in the kitchen like pots and pans. A lot of people are not aware of what they need to buy, maybe what you don't really need, yeah. what you should be looking for in your pots and pans. Yeah, because you know, they all look the lot, same. Right? Other than different colors, they all pretty much look the same. So yeah. it's a kind of a confusing world. Like why am I not going to spend $30 on a set and why am I going to spend over a thousand or something right. like that, right? Exactly. So uh, I'm going to try and help you through that. Okay, sounds good. So here are some things to look for though. What, okay. what is your cooktop? Okay. Do you have gas? Do you have electric, you know, the coils? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have a glass top cooktop? Mm -hmm. Do you have induction, which is really, really hot and just gaining lots of steam? Do you plan on purchasing induction? And for those who don't know what that is yet, it's they look like a glass top, but they're actually magnets in the inside, and you right. boil water in like three seconds. It's really fast. It's totally on my wish list, yeah. Yes. Um, so because what your cooktop is, or potentially what your future cooktop is, um, will depend what you need. Mm -hmm. Not all pots in the world are good for gas. Not all pots in the world are good for induction. Right. So you need to know that for starters. Okay, that's your first one. Okay. Then my particular pet peeve is handles. Oh, right. On pots. You need the right handles. Of course I chose good ones here, so I don't have a yeah. bad example. But um, when the handle, for me personally, when the handle's too skinny, yeah. and you've got a big pot, you've got this big, hot, let's say it's the large pot, and you're like, and I want to turn it, and yeah. it's slipping and turning and stuff, it doesn't, it's not good. Yeah. So look at your handle, feel it in your hand, feel the weight, okay? That's gotta be good for you. Yeah, okay. And do you want it in oven use or not oven use? Okay, okay. so what are you gonna use it? Let's get into materials, because this is really the big point where the price matters and where the use matters. Okay. We've got, aluminum is your very, very entry level. Those are the ones that the price reflects what the material is, for sure. That's really much the case the whole way here. Okay. But aluminum is your super, super, super entry level, soft. It's not lifelong. You're going to use it until it you can't use falls it apart. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. And then you're going to upgrade later. If that's yes. where you are in your life, the point of your life, go right ahead and just spend what you can afford. For okay? sure. You might be a university student. You might be starting out with a family. Yeah, you might yeah. just not have the funds to get, you oh, know, 100%. a high end set of pots. Yes, yes. And maybe you don't cook that much. Or you just you want to boil water. Much. You're making KD or something yes. every day. Maybe you know? you're like, me. Maybe you're crazy. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> just get what you need. <laughs> then there's hard anodized, which is also mm -hmm. aluminum. I have to say, all of these pots, right across the border from KitchenAid. Right. Every brand. Because so they've they got killed every level. it with their new line. So I really wanted to do uh, right across the board with them. Yeah. Hard anodized is still aluminum, uh -huh. okay? You're stealing with as the material. They're dark on the inside, they're non-stick, but they're a very, 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 very hard aluminum, okay? Mm -hmm. This is kind of a step up from the regular aluminum. Yeah, I They're dark you. on the inside, which isn't necessarily a chef's choice. Because oh, really? a chef, not that we have many, many, many chefs here, or, or a really accomplished home cook, yes. we want to see our food. Oh. We want to look in and see like this stainless steel set. We're going up a notch here. That's why chefs, all the professional chefs are using stainless steel or better because mm -hmm. it's rare that they would use a dark pot. When you're getting in nonstick pans, of course, those look dark. Yeah. But you want to see your food in stainless steel. You're going to get better heat. Uh, okay. retention and speed, how fast the pot is going to um, get, so that's stainless steel. That makes sense. We're working up to tri-ply. Tri-ply. Some brands call it clad. I'm going to call it tri-ply. Okay. It's aluminum in the middle of stainless steel. So three oh, pieces, okay. stainless steel, aluminum either side. We're going up a notch on that. All of these cook, depending on what the material is, all of these are good on induction. Okay. Including when we go to triply copper, these which is pretty. drool, drool, drool. Yeah, and can gorgeous. you just picture these in your, in your kitchen in France? Yes. Cooking the most fabulous <laughs> things ever yeah, with your dry herbs. Yes. Only copper set on the market is this one. This is very exciting because copper did not work on, it does not have a magnetic bottom except for the KitchenAid. Oh, okay. So people couldn't buy copper pots. So if you're careful, if you have that oven, don't go to any other brand. Make sure that it is, well, right now it's only KitchenAid. Yes. So that's what you're going to do. Why do we want copper? Really, really good heat retention. Yes. Fast. And really, they look fabulous. Oh my I god, mean, they're so up. gorgeous. That's what I would want to do. They're like a nice pair of shoes. And you're really getting good, good quality, yes. really good heat reduction and control. Gorgeous, and great news. Thanks to KitchenAid, one audience member will win this. It's worth a thousand dollars. The entire copper set. I couldn't wait for you to say that. I, I know. Say that. That's very exciting.
it is. Totally is. Isn't that good? Okay, well, we're going up. We're going up a notch here, and we're going to five ply. Okay. Oh wow. So we're it's stainless heavy. steel on the outside. Yeah, you can feel the weight. Yeah, the you can. You're going up like going up notches. This one's five ply. Excuse me. Five ply. Five ply. Uh -huh. And you've got stainless steel, but in the inside, there's copper. Right. So you've got the look of the stainless steel, the wearability of the stainless steel, all this stuff, but you've Come got in copper here, in the inside. It gives you very precise heat. We're sort of living in your world right I now. Know, so I know. as a chef, I know we didn't get to these two. Do you That's have okay. a favorite? Uh, yes, three ply. Yes. Because it's, it's lifetime. It, yeah. you, you'll mm -hmm. give it to your children if you want. Yeah, yeah. Stainless steel because you want to be able to deglaze, make sauce and all that. Yes. But also you need absolutely one skillet non-stick. You want to do a little skillet. piece of fish, something you want it to, you Amy. don't want it to stick to the yeah. bread. Yeah. What these babies. This is great for for nice to oh, yeah. slow cooking Take in the, the oven. Lid off that it's so her. heavy. It's Look, beautiful. It's a grill on the oh, great! Oh, Listen, we I can like talk it. about this forever. Yeah. We'll keep it going.